This is a rant on the convergence system on MechWarrior Online. They say that it's instant and it doesn't have any lag between your shots being from one distance to another. But um, I just proved it. So we'll watch this a few times so we can get a grasp of what's going on. Shot has fired. These are my two LBX-20s leaving my arms. So if you back up just a tad... 709 meters. So what you're telling me is that where that icon is, right here, is 709 meters? No. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I know I'm unlucky and all, but I don't, I don't think so. So the shot leaves. 59 meters. 59, oh, wrong way. 59 meters. Gonna go right here. Right? Right. Well, I give it away. It doesn't. Right under the freaking commando. It always goes after the center dot of where you're supposed to be pointed at. So that's about right. So it's it's pointing in the direction of the hills over there. That's still right. I can still see that because technically I'm still above him. So that's not considered aiming at the commando? Really? That? That's not the commando. That's the commando. Like that right there I can tell you it's showing 59. Nope, it's still not. Wow, really? Really? Holy crap. It's still 709 meters. That. Holy crap. So we're at 705 meters here. Till right there. So that's still not. Still not 59 meters. That is. Acquired. Boom. Should have had him dead to freaking right. And it, when a commander's running full speed at you, there's no way you're gonna know what the meters here say in the heat of the moment. There's no way you're gonna watch for that to change. I'm not that good, at least. But I thought that I had this commando dead to rights when I pulled the trigger. Like, look at it. Look at it. Like, you would think, like, okay, I waited. Like, I specifically, like, right there. I can understand. I'm off. I could tell that. I'm off the target. It's gonna go behind it because my convergence isn't right. So I waited. I specifically and deliberately waited to pull the trigger until right about here. Because right there, is that not on his face? That's on his face. It should have been there. It should have been right in his face. But to the frame, it didn't register that it was that close. I wanted to see a face full of- and I turned so quick because my CT is wide open. So I'm, I'm deliberately trying to get him off of my chest so I don't die. And it worked. I don't know if like he actually took a shot at me or not, but like that's that's a legitimate method of keeping someone from killing you. But I deliberately waited, and I I waited for him to come up. Here's the first look at it. This is a uh, 10% speed. Right under his arms. It totally misses. So why? So here's the closer look. If you go almost frame by frame, so right here, right there. I pulled the trigger. So it still registers at 709 meters, but um, that's the commando's head. I understand I'm asking a lot out of the game engine and everything, but this commando's running full frickin' speed at me, and I, I'm, I'm expected to hit it, but I can't when I'm on the target close enough that an LBX should hit it if it was registering at 59 frickin' meters like it should have been. But it didn't, because it's not until... Holy crap, that's a whole frame. Right here. So that's a frame. That's when I pull the trigger. It's at 709 meters. Right here, the shot still hasn't left the barrels. Or at least hasn't shown up on the screen. Right there. It's two frames. If I would have waited two frames, I'd have been on target. But it takes... Oh, that's not what I want. This is what I want. It takes all the way to there to register 59 meters. Because that's still 709. 
That is 709 meters, and I'm definitely on the commando's face at that point. So it wouldn't have mattered if I would have waited two. If I had waited one frame to be even more on the target than I was when I pulled the trigger. Let's go back and review when I actually pulled the trigger. So I haven't pulled the trigger because like this is my group one and this is group two. So group one is my left click. Group two is my right click. So keep waiting. I still w hold, held off pulling the trigger right there. I pull the trigger. That should have been on the commando. That's on the commando. That should have registered 59 meters. And, I, and again, I understand I'm asking a whole bunch out of the system to be able to register that that quickly. But you should. You should be able like, even that. That's still not 59 meters. It takes it all the way over to there before it registers. And when you have a light booking it at you as fast as it can, that's how they live so long is because the weapons can't converge on them fast enough. So tell me again, weapon convergence isn't a thing in this game. It definitely, definitely is. And you, the proof is right here, 59 meters. Holy crap, I never knew it was this bad. Boom. Let's see how long it registers after. Oh, I don't know if I slow mode it enough. I can, I can extend it. Oh, oh, but coming off of it, coming off of it. Don't worry, they got your back. They'd rather you miss more than hit more. I mean, I guess I can understand that as a light pilot myself. But boom. Okay, that is off the commando. That is off the commando. I will give it that. That is totally off of the commando. I will give it that. But that's ridiculous when over on this side... So look, this is still a 7. When it drops down to a 5, you know it's right. That's not, that's not off of the commando. That's not off the commando. That is definitely on the commando. And that's where I have a problem with this shot. This shot specifically, I have a problem with it missing that bad. But coming off the other side, it registers instantly that it's off the target. So it takes longer to converge on the target than it would to come off of the target. I'm trying to make sense of it. I have no idea. I'm so pissed. And I mean, this this shot just it, it, I'm I'm crapping on it more than I should because. I, I just I think I feel like I ma I made that shot <laughs> and I mean I'll I'll admit when I miss a shot and that's why I'm reviewing this so heavily because I I would admit that I missed a shot but I didn't miss it I feel that I made that shot I'm good at hitting lights let's go to the end boom clipped him right in the torso let's throw on a um. A little. Oh, that's not what I want. Let's throw on a little bit of zoom. Let's zoom in a little bit. Boom. So okay, tracking targets ahead of them is uh, with a with something slow moving like a ballistic. You have to always lead the target and your convergence is always gonna be off because you're not aiming directly at the target but in close quarters like this he's a hundred and what is that four four meters oh okay so that's actually a longer distance than I thought it was but this is a, like 104 meters I think that's what that is I can't tell yeah so it's 104 three four five yeah so that, that's definitely what it is and this is it's aiming at 178 so my shot is gonna try to aim and spread as if it was going to 178 meters but it's gotta stop when it hits this the light mech booking it perpendicular to where you're aiming boom now I didn't hit him square in this torso but I tech I in my opinion I wasn't like okay I, I don't know for sure what was in the heat of the moment but I wasn't aiming at the the center torso I was gonna go for the leg or the side torso to take off his other set of medium lasers that was that would be my goal because he's gonna keep screwing us over if he gets away now, yes, it's center cherry red and all, and I could have led the target a little bit more, but the point is I made the shot. Boom. And it hits him. And I, I really wish this didn't show up, because then I could analyze this even better. But the point is, even without convergence, I can still make shots. But when the weapon is aiming further than somebody booking it directly at you, there's no way you're ever going to make the shot because your arms technically have to cross like an X to make that shot. 
if they're coming up close to you like 50 meters. So that's, I guess that's where I have a problem with it. And I just, I don't know what they could do about it. But like, the fact that I can see it. I can see it. So that's, it's still registering on the mech right there. Come on. Oh, that's still on the mech. So right here, because this is a five, my arms are doing an X. They're, they're pointing up and towards each other. Well, I don't know if they're pointing up, but they're going to be pointing towards each other, like canted inwards to make the shot right here. And right there. Now, granted, that is off the commando. I will give it that. That is off the commando. That's not where I have a problem with it. My arms are no longer going to be X'd here. They're going to be pointed down and acted like they're pointing behind the target. So it would miss. I get that. The problem I have, that's definitely not what I want. The problem I have is on this side, coming up to lock on. That's on the commando. You tell me that's not on the commando. That's on the commando. It does not register that as the commando. But on the other side of it, right here, the other side of it, that's the commando. And immediately, that's not the commando. That's where I have a problem. I don't know, like, what it is, if it was a little bit of lag, if it's a whole bunch of things in play, but, like, when a game like this happens, to have the mechanics in place, to have this happen, I have a problem with it when it's not right. And, I know, again, I know I'm asking a lot out of the system because you have a light mech going more than 100 kph. It's probably running at least 120 so. I don't know. I don't play commandos anymore. But um, it's running 120 kph at you. So your point of aim has to be correct to make the shot. And I mean, I guess I could have aimed a little bit lower, but like when the system fails you, there's nothing you can do. So the game, it has its problems, but it's still fun. Again, this is a, like, you never really run into this except for extremely rare occasions. And editing this video, I just happened to realize that, hey, I should have made that shot. So I looked into it, and this is what I found. So that's that's where my rant's going to end, guys. I appreciate you watching, and, like, I've been enjoying MechWarrior Online again in lieu of Battletech coming out. I've been trying to get back into the MechWarrior gameplay and stuff like that, but... Ugh! Frustrating. That, that, that really... It's really just frustrating. Thanks for watching, guys. Like the video if you like it. Dislike if you disliked it. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Go watch some of my highlights on my Facebook page at... Uh, Facebook.com slash Bloodshed Romance, I think it is. That's where I've been posting a lot of these. So, uh, thanks. See y'all later. Bye.